Hey everyone, how's everyone doing today? Are you ready to play? I'm ready to play. Okay, so today I'm doing my haiku for March. So every month um, for the year, I want to do one haiku a month, right? So this was January's, and then this was February's, and at the end of the year, I'm going to make them into a little booklet, a little book. Isn't that going to be cute? I think it's going to be adorable. So this month, I want to play with my Distressed Inks. I'm kind of on the Distressed Ink Kick here, or my Ink Kick. I don't think I want to do any kind of um, paint this month. So I think I want to try to stick with using my Distressed Inks and my Memento Inks and probably some watercolor. So if you can see the little stump is, they are of bugs and flowers. And so I want it to be a spring type of haiku is what it's going to end up being. But the first thing that I think I want to do is I think I want to stamp onto the page itself. And this is a four and a half by five and a half piece of watercolor paper. And I'm going to use the bumpy side because I do want it to have some type of texture. So I'm going to take this stamp, which is, um, I think it's called Dream. And I really don't remember where I got it. I just got it. Uh, a few about a month ago I guess and uh, I just googled dream and got the and it popped up so um, I think it was just some off the wall type of place on the internet that I actually got got it so I'm using color box um, ink here and um, black in black uh, because my stays on ink I love it but I feel like it's just too much for like paper stuff and um, so I, I wanted to get archival but the my Michaels did not have any so and I am okay if this doesn't print a clean crisp um, image that's the word I'm looking for because it is just going to be my background so I'm totally okay with it like how that is not a clear print I'm cool with that okay because it is just going to be in my background so let me just wipe this stamp off and I'm hoping I read that the color box is waterproof so that's why I chose it um, because that's why I wanted the archival because I do want it to be waterproof because I am going to be uh, using water and such with it okay so now that I've gotten that now I'm going to use my actual inks and what I think I'm going to do is I think because it is a springy type um what you call it, uh, image, I want to use blues up at the top and then greens more at the bottom, kind of like, it, you know, it's a landscape type thing. I have here some, what's this called, tumble glass, and it's new, I just got this. So I'm just going to be putting it just haphazardly. That's a pretty color. And I'm hoping that this stuff is going to cover up that black. Oof. I might need to actually put some gesso on that. Because that black is really popping through, isn't it? All right. Well, no fuss, no muss. Let me then, let me get my gesso because I think it does need some gesso over it. Just to, to uh, punch back that black text. I probably should have used maybe a brown instead of a black but oh well no biggie so I'm just gonna take a baby wipe and my gesso and kind of just go over it just to knock that black back 
because it's very strong. I don't want it that prominent. Um, normally, I tear up text, you know, to put on here, but I didn't want it to have that much texture because um, I want to stamp some of the haiku onto the page. So, um, and write it. So, uh, I didn't want it to have a lot of bumps and stuff that tearing off pages would do like I normally do. All right, so that knocked that back. So let me dry this really quick, and once it's dried, I'll be back. Okay, so it's pretty much dry. So let's try it again. Oh yeah, that's better. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in little spots with this tumbled glass. And then I think I wanna use some Salty Ocean. I'm gonna try to put a few of these colors together. The salty ocean is really pretty. Oh yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful. Alright. And then let's put in actually a little bit of this faded jean as well. Why not? Why not? Do a little bit of different blues. Okay, looks cool. All right, now let's do the grass. And I think what I want to do is I want to use this peacock feathers down at the very horizon, so to speak, uh, just so that it will be a nice transition between the blue and the green, you know. I think it will anyway. Okay. And then let's go with the pilled paint. That's the only green I have in this distressed inks. But I think it'll be all right. And we'll go up like this. Oh, that is a pretty green, isn't it? I like it. Then you can just go on up with it. Oh, I like it. I do. I like that. Actually, let's go up a little bit. There, I like that. Oh, that's so cute. I love it. Love it. All right, now I want to spritz it with just a little bit of water. Oh, and actually, I have a new water spritzer that I forgot to grab. Let me go grab it, and I will be right back. Okay, and all it is is an old bottle that had eye solution in it that we would use, and we used it up, but it's got such a cool little mister that I wanted to use it. Okay, and let me let this dry. Come on down the page with that green a little bit. And then I'll see if I need to add any more in some of the spots, but I don't think I will. I'm kind of digging that. All right, so let me dry this and I'll be right back. Okay, um, I think I do want it just a little bit greener. So I'm just going to go over with what was already on my sponge with that. And then I think I will also go over it with a little bit of the um, salty ocean, just in some spots. Just to kind of brighten it up just a little. There, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, so I'm going to set this over to the side. I really like it. And I'm going to use this Tim Holtz stamp with my Memento a Dandelion. And I have an extra, just a scrap piece of uh, watercolor paper right here. And I'm just going to stamp it onto the paper. And then I'm going to fussy cut it out. And this will be my sunshine, my rays of sunshine. Oh, I like it. So my thinking is I'll just put a few of them down. So let me fussy cut these out and um, 
get them put onto the page. So I will fussy cut these out and I will be right back. Okay, the more I looked at this, I'm like, you know, I don't know. So I'm just gonna put some of this ink on my paper and I'm gonna use my little one inch hole punch and punch out a little hole for it to be the sun. And then the rays can be coming off of it. Okay, and now I just want to trim off the excess pieces here. Oh yeah, I like it. I like it. Alright, now what I want to do is I'm going to use my pit pins really quickly because I want to make sure that um, I'm going to put some stickles on. So I want it nice and, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Colored in before I put the stickles on. over it with my pit pins to give it some um, shadows, right, and just kind of make it pop a little bit, but the stickles will really make it shiny. And this is a uh, dark chrome yellow. And then let me try the cadmium yellow. Which will lighten it up just a little. Okay. Now, the re again, the reason I did that is because I'm about to put some stickles on it. So, and then it's some of that's going to be covered up when I put in the um, my focal images. So, and normally I do a lot of of stamping and stuff, but on this occasion, um, I, I think just the text is enough. For the background because you'll you you can see it and I think that's just plenty I don't oh no well there was one thing I did want to do maybe I should have waited to put the Sun on there I got excited y'all as I always do I'm just taking a little brush here to kind of move this around there was one little Okay, so, okay, so, um, I want to use this stamp. I should have done this before I actually put my sun down, but it's okay. I just want to give a little bit more in the background. Some of these whimsical flowers. And I'm using the same colors that I used on the background. 
so that it would blend in better. Okay. Do the green. Just to give it a little bit more. Oh, that's cute. Okay. That's good for the background. All right, now um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this aside so that that stickles can end up drying. That's kind of cool, huh? Okay, so let me do that. And then what I want to do is I want to stamp all my little critters. Again, I have a ladybug, I have a bumblebee, I have a dragonfly, I have... A pretty big butterfly. I have another little ladybug and then I have this flower. So I want all of these to be in black. I do believe. And then I'm going to cut them out and I'm going to use my scan and cut, I do believe, to cut them. And I think I want to use watercolor. I'm going to try to use watercolor this time on them. So, I got, let's see, let me get a piece of or a piece of color color paper that they can go on. Just wondering if I want that big, big butterfly. I have a medium butterfly that I think I want to use. So let me let me grab it instead of this big one. Because the reason why is because you know all these other bugs are kind of little. So I kind of want to stay with that. Okay, so I just got this in the mail. It's um, It was on sale, and I, then I had a coupon, so it was well within my price range. Not as nearly as expensive as a Misty. That scared me. <laughs> as a Misty. Misty's are more way more expensive but this is the Tim Holtz one and I think I'm using it right uh, nope. because one side says clear and one side says rubber okay it's so only grabbing that one so maybe I need to switch this around see if that helps I've not ever used this, so there it is. All right, so I guess when you see it say clear, that's the side you want. Okay, come on, little guys. There we go. Okay, very cool. All right, let me put these distressed because I might use them to color. No, because I don't want those colors. I want vibrant colors, but I could use pinks. I don't know. I'm either going to use the distressed inks or my watercolors color of these guys but I do want though the color box archival die because I want it to be water proof you know so I'm going to use it to stamp these guys and then I'm going to run it through my scan and cut and um, let it cut it out
Okay, so I think I'm going to paint them before I actually um, send them through the uh, scan and cut because I, you know, I want them to be colored. And I think I'm going to use my watercolor markers and possibly my watercolored. I have these the Laplumes, which are water soluble, so you can use them as well, and you can use water with them. So I'm going to dry this and then I'm going to send it through the skein and cut so that I can cut all these out. And once I get them cut out, then I will be back. Okay, so I got them cut out. <laughs> okay, so this is like really the first time I ever used my skein and cut. So it was a huge learning curve and um, I've been working on this for about 30 minutes. So maybe even longer. I don't know. But for the most part, I mean, it, it cut it out okay. I mean, some of the white is still showing like on her little antenna here. Um, so I'm just gonna leave that alone. I'm not even gonna worry about it. I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm going to get my distressed ink and I'm gonna just put a thing there. And um, I got a little, and I'm just going to do like this so that it at least blends in. Well, I don't think I want it blue. I want it green. Where's my green? So I'm just, here, there. And just pick up a little bit of this green and put it there, right? So that it matches the grass. So we're good on that. Because she does need to be down in the grass. And then my flower I'm going to put right like this. And then of course the butterflies are going to go up. And I'm probably going to have to just do another antenna for them. But that's okay. Actually, I think I'm going to have the butterflies sticking up. I mean, it's not perfectly cut out, but it's it, it's doable. Maybe have the dragonfly go there and have the bumblebee go there. Because I need room and then have the ladybug go down here. Because I need room for my haiku to go in. Again, I'm just going to color her in this green, just where the antennas are at, just so that it will match the grass. There. Where that white was at. 
And I think with the bees and the butterfly and the dragonfly, um, I'm going to put them up. And actually, you know what I think I want to do? I think I'm going to change the colors of these if I can. His antennas look crazy, but it'll give him character. It gives him a little bit of character. Because I am going to end up putting stickles on them. See, now they really pop. I'm digging that. All right. So maybe put the... put the little bugs down here and I'm going to use the matte medium to glue them on. just handwrite it on here I think okay so I have some of uh, stamps that I'm gonna actually use uh, in my um, haiku I have sunshine and I have um, spring so I'm going to actually, I think I'm going to emboss it. To write the rest of the haiku on there by hand. So I wanted to handwrite the haiku onto the page and um, I used the wrong markers. At first I used the La Plumes, which is water soluble and it started bleeding into the distressed ink. So then I thought well let me use white to try to make it pop. Those just bled in as well. Um, which I totally had forgotten. I knew better than to use those, but it just went out of my head. So then I'm going to get my Sharpies and go over it. And that helped, but I, I just didn't like the way it looked. So then I'm going to get my Versamark um, pen and go over it and then try to emboss with some bridal tinsel embossing powder and that really didn't work so in the end I was not happy with the way that it turned out as far as the writing goes um, I really I wish I would have just stamped it it would have looked so much better so you live you learn sorry about my head so you know learn something new today so then I'm just going to use my pit pen to do shadow work um, like I normally do. Alright, so now what I want to do is I'm going to get little foam squares so that I can put my little, um, my little critters on my page. So let me grab those. Oh, it is cute. 
I think it turned out cute. But one thing that I need to do is I want to put in a little bit of highlights on my flowers. And again, you know, I don't really worry about light source or anything like that. Okay, so I think this is it. I think it's done. A couple things I learned. If I want to do my gel pen, I need to not use distressed ink because it just activates. It turns it green, not white. So I've learned that. Um, I am going to put stickles on here, so in the pictures you will see that. I'm going to put it on the um, all the little critters. So that is my haiku for... March. Isn't it beautiful? I think it turned out okay. Again, um, just the distressed inks, I, I just forgot that any kind of white will just kind of fade into it. But I do love the look of it. So that turned out pretty okay. Um, so I just needed to remember that, that I shouldn't have put the water-soluble marker on top. I should have went with the alcohol marker when I was trying to write, but it turned out okay, I think. All right, y'all. Well, that's it for the haiku for March. I'm so glad that you've joined me. Um, I hope you're enjoying this series. I am actually loving coming up with the haikus and then coming up with the um, little mixed media to go along with it. So I hope you're enjoying it as well. All right, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe if you've not already subscribed. And if you have, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. But don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified for every time that I post a video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Y'all be good to one another, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!